the clockwork curse, once in a sleepy, forgotten town. Nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, there stood an ancient clock tower. It was a marvel of intricate jeers and glistening brass, its chimes resonating like a symphony every hour. The clock tower was the heart of the town and its caretaker. An elderly man named Elias had devoted his life to its maintenance. Elias, with his silver hair and weathered hands, was as much a part of the tower as the jeers themselves. But the town was changing. Modernity had crept in with its tall buildings and buzzing machines. And Elias was the last of a generation who cherished the clock tower. He feared that when he was gone, the tower would fall into disrepair, a relic of the past. One evening, while repairing the clock's pendulum, Elias noticed an odd, tiny jeer tucked away in a dusty corner of the tower. It was unlike any jeer he had ever seen, with enigmatic symbols etched upon its surface. Curiosity overcame him, and he decided to integrate it into the clock's mechanism. From that day forward, the clock tower chimed a new melody at midnight. It was haunting, like the lament of a lost soul. Elias couldn't explain it, but the townsfolk heard it too. And they were both captivated and unnerved. As the days passed, the curse of the clockwork jeer became apparent. Time itself began to warp within the town. Days felt like seconds and hours stretched into eternities. The townspeople aged rapidly, their hair turning white overnight, their faces etched with lines of despair. Elias realized the terrible mistake he had made but couldn't undo the damage. He became a prisoner of the clock tower, forever maintaining the cursed jeer. His once nimble hands withered and his mind fractured. Desperation spread through the town, and the clock towers cursed. Chimes served as a constant reminder of their impending doom. It was said that those who listened too closely heard the voices of the past, whispering tales of sorrow and regret. Years passed, and the town was no more than a ghostly relic frozen in time. The once majestic clock tower now stood as a crumbling, decrepit monument to Ilias Fowley. And so, in the heart of that forgotten town, time marched on, eternally cursed by the clockwork jeer. While the world outside remained blissfully unaware of the timeless tragedy, hidden within the quiet hills and dense forests,